Three series movement. Still up and going. Today we're doing traps. So think about dealing with your traps. You got to get the center of the back as well. I'm going to do some pull ups. But I'm going to get the close grip to hit the center of my back. This is where it's at. This is my warm up. I do two sets. Nothing to jump out at. It's a simple thing. This is what we do. Alright. So I'm going to grab a 45 pound plate for my first major movement. And what I'm getting here is my traps and my shoulders. And I'm going to bang for this. Strength. Strength. Remember guys, go to failure. Go to failure. Let's get the second movement. You know, what I like to call these are rear trap rows. A lot of my shoulders are still involved, but what it does is it, it hits that trap on the back of your neck. Simple row, put your knees together, go out full frontal, turn the bell in as you come in. This is a massive movement right here for traps. Lightweight. All right, let's move on. Of course, the shrugs, right? Take your shrugs slow, try to keep your chin up as high as you can, keep your chest out. But as you get to going, you know, you start to fall in a little bit. Just try to stay in it. High chin, big chest. as many as you can get it's not about weight it's more about form let's do it again this is another game so I grabbed the 45 pound plate, uh, 35 pound plate this time. No, actually, I think I grabbed a 45 pound plate this time. And stayed with it. I think the, the weight of measurement was actually working with me. But I'm gonna stay in it, stay strong with it. This is a powerful movement. Let's give this a try right here. Now here, I know I reduced the weight a little bit. I think I went from 35 pounds to 30 pounds. But that row, that row is mad. I'm gonna get mine, that's what I'm saying. Get Nick stand up. Fight for every rip. Huh? We gotta work on that 